What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Classic Coco, and I'm coming to you with Let's Be Real, the podcast. I'm so excited to be bringing y'all episode nine. We, what? We running it up. Episode nine. We doing good this season. Support and love to everyone who's been tuning in. I really appreciate y'all for real. But today is very special. I got my Ram fam in here, you know, know, with Salem State University. He doing big things from Charlotte, North Carolina. What number one score in Qatar? Am yep. I saying it right? Yeah, twenty eight. Listen, you in the Middle East. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Listen, that. so for those who do not know who you are, tell them who you are. What's your name? Where you're oh. from? What you do? Everything like that. Well, my name is Amir Jackson. I'm from Concord, but I've been staying in Kannapolis, you know, right there around the area, 704 area. Uh, I'm a professional basketball player. I've been playing basketball all my life, I think, since I was like... Five, four. I got a little baby Tyler pictures with a ball in my hand. Yeah. But yeah, that's, you know, I want to do other stuff sooner and later in life, but right now it's just basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of inspired you to start um, playing basketball? What kind of inspired that? I really, I don't know. Like, it was in me because, like, my uncle and my my biological father, they real good. Like, you know, my mother's side, they good. So, it's like, it was always in me. It was like, when I was first conscious as a little kid to like see life, I remember yeah. basketball, I remember goal, you know, that was always in my grandma's house and yeah. I just always wanted to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you have any like mentors growing up that kind of like went with you through the basketball journey of becoming like, cause now you, you pro now. Yeah, facts. You like, <laughs> I'm not on old baby boy, the little boy, you know, collegiate status, like facts. you're like pro. So. Like, how has your journey been from when you first started to now? It's been crazy because, like, all the way up, like, when I first started, when I was around probably, like, 5 to, like, the 8, 9, 10 range, I had, like, going into the uh, part you're saying about my mentor, I had a big cousin named Deshaun Jackson. He, uh-huh. unfortunately, he had passed away a long yeah. time ago, uh-huh. and I got him on my fingers right here. But yeah. he was, like, always telling me, like, yo, I'm here, you know what I'm saying, stay Keep doing it, keep doing it, stay on the court, stay play ball, play ball. And he'll just motivate me to just yeah. keep playing, even at that age. Yeah. Even oh. at that age, yes. Even at that age, he would uh, have me, like, doing just little drills outside on the rocks. Just, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just always stayed in my head. Yeah. And I feel like he's still with me, though, even though he's gone. You right. know what I'm saying? So, but, yeah, 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 he really, that's one mentor. I mean, then as I went older in life, you know what I'm saying, as I got older, I met new people and new faces, so, you know, it's a lot of people. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That kind of played a part. So, okay, so where did you go to high school? I went to high school. I, I jumped around. I went, <laughs> <laughs> I was everywhere. I went to Northwest Cabarrus mm-hmm. in Concord, and then I went to military school mm-hmm. in, in Virginia called Fort Union Military School. Well, are you serious? It was a military school. That thing was strict. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was real strict. But it was a yeah. good basketball school. So I went there and reclassed. So I went there as a junior and mm-hmm. stayed a junior. So then my junior year, I left and went back to Charlotte mm-hmm. to a prep school called Evelyn Mack Academy. And now they're called Liberty Heights. Okay. Yeah, so... so was Winston your first college you went to? No. It okay. Wasn't. It wasn't. No disrespect. I love Winston. I mean, yeah, because I'm, I'm ready to get to Winston. Like, <laughs> nah, you know. Nah, I love Winston, <laughs> but Winston was not my first choice. You know, I I had to go junior college. So mm-hmm. I first went to college, junior college in Kansas. Yeah. And the touch Juco. That's like, you know what I'm saying, one of the best Juco's yeah. states to play in. And uh, I was an All-American there for two years, and then I ended up committing early during my sophomore season to Sam Houston State. Yeah. That's in Texas. That's a D1. And uh, I was there for going on two years, and then I ended up getting into some trouble off the court. Yeah. So, and then my grades really went up to a part. Uh-huh. But I was, you know what I'm saying, the main guy there, you know. Yeah. People knew me. I had NBA scouts coming to the gym, you know what I'm saying. They talked to my coach about me. Yeah. And I just really, you know, messed it up. And so when I messed up, I had every D2 in the nation, like, yeah. any D2 somebody could think about, you know. And I didn't know much about D2s, but I knew Winston. You right. Know, I knew of Virginia State. You right. Know, I knew HBCUs. And so I was like, man, let me go to a school, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even though I messed up, let's go, you know, not turn up, but let's go right. be around my folks, you know. So, let's go be around the folks. But, so I was like, right. you know, Winston. 
Exactly. So what made you choose Winston? Because that was like the last time, you, last college you went to. Yeah, facts. Before you went pro overseas. So facts. how did that transition? How was your time at Winston? Because that's where I met you. In fact, yeah, like, that's when we yeah. came close when we was good friends. Yeah. But, uh, I love, man, I love Winston, man. Like, it was just nothing but love. And, it, like, another reason I, cho- I chose it because, don't get me wrong, it's people from DMV, Raleigh, Durham, yeah. Greensboro, but it's a lot of folks from the floor there. Right. You know what I mean? And I ain't chose it because of them, but I was just like, you know, it's kind of like home, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's closest to home. I was thinking about Virginia State because mm-hmm. I got family in Virginia State. I mean, around that area, but... I was like, man, Winston right here is 45 minutes from the crib. You right. Know? But it was love there. They exactly. Off the rip. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. You was definitely doing your thing. Like, right. you was a huge scorer at Winston. Like, you really did it. You really yeah, did it. Yeah, that's when uh, Rob Cologne was a freshman, too. He For was real. He was on, too. Oh, yeah, Rob. Wow. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, I know you signed, you know, during college. Do you regret um, not finishing college or would you do you have plans to go back to college like how do you kind of feel about that whole process uh well sh- I, I feel like i i benefited by leaving early you know yeah. coming from that d1 it was like i had a name there so when i went d2 i'm not saying my name got lesser but you know d2 and d1 is different so right i feel like i didn't feel like i was just better just good enough just to leave and finish not to finish my senior year but i just felt like you know it's time for me to get paid to play you know right so exactly. I just made that decision I asked my mother and she was with it right family so she, yeah you know, once I got that go from my people it was over with right they like oh no you better chase that bag right. doing, especially you were doing what you love to do too as well so and then I feel like you know with basketball you know it take a lot on our body you right know? so I feel like we're not gonna be able to do this forever yeah school's gonna be school and your education you know what i'm saying as long as you're living exactly it's gonna be there so exactly. i feel like i can always go back you know? always go back yeah yeah and i am though i yeah. definitely am yeah, yeah. do what you need to do you know run that check up run you know? that bag you gotta get that bag yes, man, you know <laughs> so how did it feel when you first signed your first contract what am i saying it right alcor uh that was the second one. Oh, that's the second one okay what's, what was the first one all right the first one um, was in Romania uh-huh. called a, a team called CN Vlaco in Buc- Bucharest, Romania, the capital. Mm-hmm. They um don't get me wrong, like uh I had to when I went there. That was like a starter year. I yeah. wasn't getting paid much, you know. Mm-hmm. I was just going there because like I left school early. Mm-hmm. I just had to find somewhere to land to start my resume overseas. Resume overseas, right? And that was that was it. So yeah. that Romania was the first one. Then. The better one came after Romania. The Alcor. Yeah. So how was that experience? Romania or Alcor? Alcor. Alcor is lit. I love yeah. it, man. They love me too. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, it, it was beautiful, man. The whole city, the whole country, you know. Yeah. It was just a different lifestyle. Right. And different play too. It was a whole different play from my first time in Romania, you know. Yeah. And then this league, it was, you know, names is in there. Competition, yeah. it was, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, Middle East. What? How was the food? Great. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite thing to eat? Man, shout out to Rare Burger. It's called Rare. Rare, Rare Burger. Rare Burger in Qatar. In it Qatar. Is so good. Like I'm gonna have to go. It's better than any burger I done tasted in America. For real? Any cookout burger, any, if it's a family burger, yeah. any, anything. <laughs> I can't even say McDonald's, but any restaurant, I is nothing on yeah. Rare Burger in Qatar. Right. Rare Burger. Okay, Rare Burger. Gotta look it up. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> so good. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, that's crazy to going overseas and like... Leaving your family. So when you went overseas, did you have any abandonment issues when you went over there? Uh, not really, because I was always you away. Was lit. I was always yeah. <laughs> she said lit. <laughs> I mean, I was always away from my mother. If you think about it, like yeah. I said, I went junior college. That's in Kansas. Yeah. Then I went to my D one. That's in Texas. Right. The only time I was near my mother when I went to Winston. Right. So it was like, nah. It was like I'm going to get paid. So right. I was ready to go. I wasn't right. really. Worried about family, you know. I'm a mama's boy too, but I wasn't. Nah, I was like, I'm about to get that check. I'm ready yeah. to write my name up. You feel me? Did your mom come visit you? Uh, no, she wanted to, and I was going to, but uh-huh. some stuff came up. She had to stay at the house, and um, 
We just didn't get it. But the next time I go, she's definitely coming. Yeah. Yeah, because she got her passport and all that. Yeah. So. Do you feel like she's, like, your number one supporter when it comes to you playing basketball? And uh, Yeah, definitely her. My stepdad, you uh-huh. know, biological father. Yeah. His brothers, big brothers. Like, a lot of, you know, I got. I feel like I got a lot of supporters. You right. Know? Even though my mother, you know, she put me in a position to be where I'm at, you know, and get to where I to get to. But, mm-hmm. like, I got a lot of supporters, you know. Yeah. Right? That's good, especially coming from the four and especially exactly. Winston. And, you know, you got my support. The fact, I, you've been showing support right, since day one. Like, <laughs> but. for real, for real. That's just crazy, like, seeing your progression and your elevation from then and yeah. to now. Like, I appreciate That's you crazy. Too. Same with you, too, though. Same Thank with you. you. I see you got it going but on. But five years are going to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. But you feel me? Give me five years, Lord. I seen you do an evening view with uh, Nappy Chef. I, oh, yeah, I Nappy Chef. Oh, yeah. The I wings. I love Nappy Chef. The wings, the seafood. Uh, the, the mac and macaron- cheese. Listen, man. <laughs> he you, said, man. You need to tell him if y'all from Charlotte, Concord, Annapolis, shoot, even South Wait. Carolina, you could take that hour trip to right to Nappy Chef. Pull up, get some Nappy Chef, get some what seafood crack mac and cheese, man, what? some Hennessy wings. Shout out to shout them. out to Nappy Chef. Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was your hardest part about transitioning to like another part of the world to play basketball? Um. I feel like adapting to other cultures Culture, and languages yeah. and how people act and talk, you know. Yeah. I think that was the main. What was the hardest you felt, you felt like? Over there, why? Mm-hmm. Talking. Really? Yes. Because, you know, I mean, you know, I ain't just saying I just talk with a slang, but I got like that, that accident. So yeah. they're like, come again? What'd you say? You know, they know yeah. proper English, so I don't really talk. So I have to mm-hmm. really talk proper English and... That was really the main everything else I adapted to. Like I love the Middle East. I got Arabic yeah. tatted on my side of my yeah. face. You see me? So they was coming up to me reading my name and Really? Yeah. They were like, Oh yeah, that's what it say. Yeah, they were like Virginia, Virginia. And I'm like, How you know my grandma? How you know my mother? Because I got Virginia on this side and Bridget on this side. Really? That's my mother and that's my grandma. Yeah. At least you know it's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fact. I kept asking them too. I'm like, So you sure you know? <laughs> right. Oh yeah. It was stamp. This is not no like crazy shit. Fact the stamp. The stamp. <laughs> <laughs> so what was like your favorite part living in Qatar? Favorite part I have to say just exploring like going downtown to the yeah. city. It's like don't get me wrong, you know Charlotte's beautiful. Right. And they got money over there. What? They're not playing. They is rich. They have money, money. Like they like they downtown skyline, they tall and like, you know, of course big, but it's like they got like Neon lights on them, yeah. and like they got buildings that like kind of rotate. You know, they got buildings on the oh, water. Yeah, it was. We that know was, that advance, yeah. Yeah, that's I think the best. They over there the, trading gold for bread, you know like what? Yeah, all that building. oil money too. For real, that's what it is too. So, for real, man. like they got money. They, but wealthy. I'm telling you, they well-fed. got bread. They is bread there. Yeah. So I know it, before every game. Get ready. You know what's something that you listen to that gets you pumped up, hype. What's your pre regimen when you um, before you play a game? Uh, Stunner, that's my boy. Oh yeah, Fortan. Fortan, that's my boy. <laughs> Definitely Stunner. Um, who was T L E Cinco? T L E Cinco. Yeah, you gotta look him. I up gotta get tough. on that. You know uh, him. It's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot. I listen. I, I really be turned before warm ups. I got like yeah. my little play, my little playlist. You know, uh-huh. Chief Keith. Oh yeah. Glock. Gang, gang, you feel gang. me? <laughs> Glock. You know. Yeah. It's a couple. Oh yeah, little Buddha. You know, from uh-huh. the city. He from the city. You gotta check him out. Little he Buddha. Look, yeah, he only like fifteen, sixteen. Really. Tough. Okay. It's tough. Yeah. I listen. I turn him up. I really, you know, I be listening to some people from the city too. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Chop. You yeah, know what I'm payroll. It's a lot of them. So yeah. yeah. So who's your favorite um, Charlotte artist? Favorite Charlotte artist? I mean, shoot. I mean, right now it's I ain't gonna lie to baby putting on. It's, right. But like, I mean, if you say Charlotte, see, I mean, if it's Charlotte, I'm going with the baby. But right. if, if it's the mother, you saying from the foe, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Stunner. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been knowing Stunner before he got. You know what I'm saying? Even bigger than what he is. Right. You know what I'm I've been knowing him. For a long time And so yeah. Seeing him doing all that stuff You know That's, yeah. that's lit And there's a lot of other artists In the city too That can do right. it So 
<laughs> Shoot, yeah, Charlotte really coming up, especially right. now having like the podcast and really seeing everybody and really you know like Fetty P, High Boy, Little Shaq. Right. Oh Joe's yeah, Hi, like, hey, Little Shaq too. Oh yeah, Little Shaq is tough. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> right. Honestly, to keep on, I, I mean, I ain't, you know what I'm saying, not going to my work. I wouldn't think it too clear. Don't get me wrong. The baby is putting on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's top dog, but like, it's a lot of people like Lil Shaq, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You got Leak, you know what I'm saying? From For real. It's a, it's, a, uh, yep. it's a lot of them, man. Lil Shaq tough, though. Yeah. Right. Right. So I see you always talk about situation game when you post <laughs> <laughs> on your Instagram. Where did that come from? Man, that came from a long time ago, like... When I was on that, you know, when that Chief Keith era really came out. You yeah. Know, you know what I'm saying? Around that era. So, like, Chief Keith used to, like, him and his boys, they got, like, a little, it's not like a, it's they, you know what I'm saying, group click, but it's like a little saying they say situation game. You yeah. Know what I'm it's always a problem wherever they go. So, I just moved that to the basketball court. Like, yeah. Anytime I'm on a basketball court, it's a situation. It's a situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's, it's trouble. Yeah. Whether it's, you feel me, somebody trying to guard me or, you know what I'm saying? Somebody leaving somebody open out, it's a situation. Right. So I it's just a problem. ran with it. You know? Right. And I'm going to keep running with it. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you're going to like um, do a clothing line or do you have any cool hobbies that you kind of want to go into I, other I, than basketball? I, of course. I, I want to start a clothing line, but it. You gave me an idea with the situation game, but I was yeah. already thinking. I mean, I, I got one in mind, and it's like, you know how my user uses their name, Instagram name is who X got. Yeah. Or I want to do that because, like, me and my little brother, his name is Amari Haney. He's real good. Yeah. Like, he's tough. He's a sophomore, 6'4". Oh, wow. Offers from Ole Miss. And yeah. He be young, but uh, he got his username is who X got 35. Yeah. And mine is who X got four. Yeah. So you feel me? Like, who's guarding? You know what I'm saying? Right. Who got that person? So I feel like I'm going to start that closing line, like the who X got, and then you could put whatever right. you want after that. Right. So if you could choose an NBA um, team that you would sign with, who would you choose in America? In America. Oh, yeah, of course. That's on the NBA. Oh, team. NBA. <laughs> duh, duh. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I ain't picking, you know. When I get there, I don't care who I play with. But, like, if I they set me down, I'm like, who you really want to play with? And, like, yeah. got my name and I can choose, it will be a L.A. team. Yeah. Either the Lakers, Clippers, Golden State, Sacramento, either one of those. Right. Or Golden State, you know what yeah. I said that. But yeah. definitely an L.A. team. I love right. L.A. That's why I want to move. And yeah. I wouldn't mind playing for Charlotte, but I feel like it would be too much problem. Right. You know, because I'm too close to home. You know, right. People be hating. Right. You feel me? And, and I know how I carry myself. So, yeah. you know, I don't, no static. Right. You know, right. I'm just a basketball <laughs> player. <laughs> well, man, I'm so sorry we had to wrap this up early. But where can people find you on social media? Uh, my Instagram is whoxgot underscore four. My Twitter is the same, whoxgot underscore four. Facebook, Amir Jackson. And nah, that's really it. That's all I really be on. Yeah. It's Instagram and Twitter. Right. Well, y'all, this is only part one. We're gonna have we're gonna get together. You know, maybe <laughs> right. get on the court, have a little part two. Right. But yes, follow him and thank you, y'all, for tuning in to episode nine of Let's Be Real the Podcast. You know, you can follow us on Instagram at L E T Z B E R E A L the Podcast. We know on Facebook. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, iHeart. We on YouTube. We on TuneIn. We everywhere. on everywhere. everywhere. We, we worldwide for real. They can hear us in the Middle East. You feel me? Oh, they gonna hear that. Oh, we gonna hear it. Well, thank you so much, and we love y'all. Bye.